Hello Sandaliers, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this first in a small series of DIY specials for the channel. Rather than being sandals around Scotland, we're going to be sandals in the house. Now, I'll be wearing my protective headgear for this project, as you can tell, and I find it's very good for keeping the hair out of my eyes. Uh, check out the merch store for this bad boy soon. Um, I've got my sandals on. And today, I'm going to be attempting something very simple, but making it look very difficult. Please enjoy. Okay, Sandaliers, so today's job is going to be turning this sort of brown bedside cabinet into a sort of grey style cupboard cabinet. Um, we've had this for a few years now, but our bedroom design has changed and it's now greys and whites in the bedroom and we want to make this fit in a bit better as well. So, should be a relatively easy job. We're going to clean it down, wash it down, sand it, and then paint it. So the first stage is obviously to clean down the, uh, the surfaces of the unit to keep them, get them, get all the grease and all the dirt uh, off the unit. So to do that, we're going to use just a household cloth, and I've got here a basin of water with some general washing up liquid inside it. So it's nice and warm. I've got sheeting down on the table with some paper and cardboard to protect the table and we're just going to start to clean the cupboard. That's stage one done. Uh, now I'm going to get a bowl of cold water and uh, just wipe down the unit again, getting rid of the soapy bubbles that might be left on it. That is just to wipe down the surfaces, wipe away any liquid or bubbles that are still on the surfaces and just add to that whole extra cleaning process. After that, some Kitchen towel. What we're going to do now is we're going to wipe it down again and dry the, uh, the cabinet. Okay. okay, so we've cleaned down the unit, we've um, dried the unit and now the next stage is to sand the unit. And the reason you sand the unit is to give the sub paint something to stick to basically when you're putting it on uh, rather than just a smooth surface. So for this we're going to use my Black & Decker electric sander with a sort of fine sandpaper on it and that is just here and da -da, other sanders are available sandaliers but this is mine it's a little bit of sandpaper on it there, you plug it in and uh, I've had it for a couple of years but it's never let me down on the little jobs I've used it for before so I'm going to plug it in and we'll get sanding. Okay, it's plugged in, it's ready to go. Turn it on. Okay, so that's the main body of the unit done. Now I'm just going to sand the top of the drawers of the unit. So I've got two drawers to sand and then we'll be ready for another clean. Okay, 
Now we've sanded down the unit and the two drawers and because of that you'll see that there's a lot of dust being created on the unit itself from the sanding. So again we're back with the, uh, the damp cloth, not the bubbly one, just the wet damp one. And we just need to wipe away all the, uh, the dust from the unit so that the paint doesn't paint on the dust, it's painting on the actual unit itself. Okay, so we've done everything now. We've uh, washed it, dried it, sanded it, washed it, and dried it again. While it's still just drying, so damp to the touch, but while it's still drying, we're gonna set up the paint and the roller system. So I have purchased just a very cheap, off Amazon, but you know, whatever, um, roller set and uh, then put the paint in, tray, some will call it. Uh, so these, so we fit the rollers, but, and what I've got is a bit of a hack here for you. If you can't be bothered washing these after every time you've used them, grab some tin foil from your kitchen, just big enough to lay on the inside of the tray, and roll the sides if you want to. That way, when you pour the paint in, it's all going to go in the tin foil section. When you're finished, you just take off the tin foil and put it in the bin. So perfect sandals around Scotland, sandals in the house, DIY special, top tip for the thing there. So do that. What I'm also going to do now is put the roller onto the brush handle. That just needs a little bit of a push there, but there we go. We're going to use a roller for this rather than a brush just because it's a bigger surface uh, and there's not too many nooks and crannies on this unit. So this should give us quite a nice finish. And in terms of the paint, I've gone for the Rainbow Liquid Chalk Company who have produced this paint called The One. Now this is a paint and primer in one. So usually you put some primer on, let it dry, then put your paint on and then put your second coat of paint on. This little bad boy here is a primer and paint combined. So it says it should just take one coat. Now I'm expecting to have to do two to be fair, but we'll see how we get on with the one. So the first thing to do is open that, pour it into the tray and let's see how we go. Now first of all, to remove these little clips. And we'll get into the paint. This is grey matte paint. We're trying to match it up to a unit that we have in the bedroom already. So uh, we'll see how it looks when it gets finished. But what we're going to do now is we're going to pour a little bit onto the tray. Hopefully you can see the tray. There we go. Not going to pour too much. Don't think we need too much to start with. I'm not sure if it's self-leveling paint or not. If it's self-leveling, it should flatten itself out once it dries. So there shouldn't be too many bumps in the paint. But we'll see, I'm not sure if it is or not. It seems to be going on quite nicely though. Also, what you need to remember is that you're painting inside, so make sure your room is ventilated 
I've got the doors open here. will be sticky for a little while obviously until it dries but actually for a first coat I think that's going on pretty well the good thing about the roller is you're also not going to get sort of brush strokes you should get quite a smooth roller finish So I'm going to do the rest of the unit and feel free to watch, speed it up, I'll speed up the video for you, get the rest of the unit painted grey and then I'll uh, speak to you after that. Enjoy. Okay, sandaliers, that's it. I'm going to put a picture in now of the before and the after of the unit. Um, as you'll recall, I washed the unit down with fair liquid. I then dried the unit, I sanded it, I then washed the dust of the sand down off, then painted it. Um, I have actually put two coats of paint on this one. One would have done, but I just did a second one because I used so little paint and that little paint bot I had um, used less than half to do the one unit. So uh, I just did a second coat. It's dried really nicely and it's going to look good uh, up back in the bedroom again. So thank you for watching this uh, Sandals Around the House DIY special. Uh, I will be doing another one shortly. And in the next episode, I'll be changing this external single power socket to a double external power socket. It's said to be my most shocking video yet. Until then, it's time for the sandals to go back in the cupboard, but remember, always put your best foot forward. Thanks for watching.